Well, the Labour MP, although she is currently suspended from the Parliamentary Labour Party, Diane Abbott, has told Good Morning Britain she is frightened by the comments made, allegedly, by a major Tory donor that she made him want to hate all black women and that she should be shot. Frank Hester has apologised and both Labour and Liberal Democrats have called on the Conservatives to return his donations, which totaled £10 million last year, and we're joined by the Energy Minister, Graham Stewart, from Westminster. Mr Stewart, we were both elected together in 2005. We've known each other for 20 years. You've always had a reputation as a straight talker who says what you see in front of him. When a Tory donor says, looking at Dan Abbott makes you want to hate all black women, that is a racist thing to say, isn't it? It's totally unacceptable. Um, he has rightly apologised. It was said in a private meeting, so uh, I, I'm pleased he wasn't peddling it on social media and the like. So, uh, as I understand, exactly what was said hasn't been verified, so I hesitate um, to go further than to say that it was clearly wrong. Diane Abbott's already, as you know, Ed, uh, she has been particularly subject to personal vilification, attacks, completely unwarranted, because uh, you and I both go into public life, and so did Di Diane, in order to serve and help. And we will drive good people out of politics if we don't uh, uh, handle ourselves in a civil uh, manner. But uh, clearly he was wrong, and uh, he said sorry for it. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't think there's much I can add to that. But I don't want you to be misrepresented here. Um, you don't know exactly what he says, um, he said. That's to be um, investigated. Uh, whether he said it in a private meeting or not is kind of irrelevant. Um, but if he said seeing Dan, um, Dan Abbott mon uh, uh, makes you want to hate all black women, if that's what he said, that is a racist thing to say, isn't it? I think you need to clarify that for us. Well, it's, uh, Ed, you, as you know, I've watched you do enough interviews and I'm not trying to uh, avoid it. And as you say, I'd like to think I do have a reputation for being straight talking. I don't know exactly what was said. I'm not going to deal with a hypothetical and go through uh, no, I'm various just phrases. You, if that somebody people, said people, that, people have could have said, it's clear. Mr. Stewart, Ed, live up to your reputation and be a straight Ed, talker. Ed, Ed, if well, he I'm, said I am that, a straight talker. It's racist, isn't it? Yeah, I don't comment on hypotheticals. It hasn't been verified. What he clearly, whatever he said, it wasn't acceptable. He's apologised. He's sought to reach out to Diane Abbott, and quite rightly too. So, um, you know, that, that's that's all I can say for now. Um, and uh, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll see um, we'll see how things go from here. But as I say, he's apologised, um, and uh, you know, remarks that were made in a private meeting. I feel as though you're not living up to your reputation here. I mean, you know. I always thought of you as somebody who said things as you saw them. That is racist. Uh, I don't know what it... It hasn't been verified, Ed. So that's, that's it. You can sit here all day asking me about something I'm not sure he said, asking me to condemn someone. I'm, I'm saying we need to treat people with more consideration and more kindness and more understanding. And I've got this quote from a private meeting half a decade ago that hasn't been verified, and you're asking me to say it's racist, you know, effectively cancel uh, the guy. Um, he says uh, that uh, that... Uh, certainly wasn't uh, his, his intent, what is an, and, and of course, acceptable. he's. I mean, Ed. You know what we also know is he's supporting uh, the Conservative government, mm -hmm. which is the most has the most diverse cabinet in history, um, and has uh, has the first Hindu prime minister. So that's not exactly the behaviour of a. And of, if of he a has racist. said it, do you think you should return the donation? Um, as I say, I'm not going to deal in hypotheticals. So uh, uh, whatever he was said was clearly wrong, and I hate to see someone like Diane Abbott or anyone else in public life um, being talked to in that manner. It's it's not right. It's not proper. It's not good. We need to treat each other with civility. Nearly everyone who comes into politics, as you and I know, however much we may violently disagree uh, on policy, does so uh, because they want to make a positive difference. Why wouldn't they? It's you know it's a great privilege to be in Parliament, um, and Diane Abbott needs to be treated with respect. But we all get furious with our opponents, and if every quote you'd ever said, Ed about Tories was taken out of context and plastered all over the television, I'm sure you could be made to look pretty vile as well, and so could I. So I'm, not sure if I'm, I'm not sure I'm happy with, um, with what you're saying there. I mean, I've never said anything racist about a Conservative or a Labour member of Parliament, and I've, you know, uh, and I think to say something racist 
is vile. And you're not suggesting well, we don't, that... We don't, it hasn't, that, that uh, this is not the normal political knockabout, Mr Stewart. This is, if he said it, he said she should be shot. Uh, if that was what was said, then clearly um, that shouldn't have been said. I say, I'm not here to it's remotely... not just that it shouldn't I'm have been said. To it's not just vile. That. She should be shot. It makes me hate all black women. Honestly, I think for it's... politics, you should call it out. Uh, as I say... Don't just smear. As, uh, as I say, it's a... Uh, sorry, what did you say? I said, don't just smear me. I wasn't smearing you. I was saying that if you everything... Were trying, you were trying to have equivalence between political knockabout in the House of Commons 10 and 20 years ago and somebody allegedly saying something which is racist and saying somebody should be shot. You can't reduce that to the normal exchanges in the House of Commons. It's this shocking, wasn't... and this you should wasn't... say so. Oh, Ed, don't, don't do that. I was saying that this, if this was a private, and what we don't know exactly what was said, if it was said in a private place, um, let's not make it about you. Let me smear myself, to use your language. If everything I'd ever said about an opponent when driven to a state of fury uh, was... was Quoted, I would look pretty vile. I do not think, Mr. Stewart, you've ever that's, said that's, something racist look, like that. I just don't believe you uh, would. Uh, I don't believe no, you would. No, no and, and, and he insists that he did had no racist intent. And if you look at him supporting, as I say, um, our first Hindu prime minister and the rest of this government, um, there's nothing to suggest that he is. But I, I have nothing further to add. I don't know the man, never met him, and I don't know exactly what he was said. So I, I you know, um, Prince uh, I, I don't can think I, there's a lot I can add. I don't yes, know Susanna. you personally like Ed does. Can I suggest you're in danger of making the whole row worse? Because you seem to be justifying that people can say things in private that they wouldn't be allowed to say in public. If somebody says something racist, it is as bad if they say it in private as if they say it in public. And there is no equivalence between hateful, racist language and normal political criticism. So would you like to just withdraw both of those equivalencies. I, I don't think I did say that, Susanna. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. I'm saying I don't know exactly what he said, and I, but I do know um, that uh, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, people use intemperate language which they shouldn't use. But he's apologised. He's sought to reach out to Diane and quite right to. These are, you know, if what he said uh, is what he said, then, uh, you know, uh, you're right to condemn it, and I'm not here remotely to justify it. Um, all right, Graham Stewart, I think we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed for your time this morning.